stream elements is streaming up and running is streaming we are officially streaming we got the you know i think i think we should do a live stream of us watching our first live stream oh god <laughs> and, and then three years and well, didn't we do year. that well the, the the weirdest one was when we did something like that right yeah where, the where... weirdest one was when you talked to brad greenquist and you yeah. showed him our yeah, right. conversation of, of yes. us watching your conversation with Lorelai Shannon. It was like five balls and... <laughs> oh, that was crazy. That was so fascinating and, and just uh, unnerving. We need to do more kind of things like that. There's a great... Well, we should talk about this in three or four seconds. All right, let's do this thing. What's whoa, what's up, everybody? And welcome to Conversations with Curtis. We have a new background for you today. I was telling uh, uh, Daniel that I want to I want to mix up our backgrounds a little bit and to, to come up with this is just a, one of our ones we've used in the past. But uh, the the idea right now is to come up with a background or a series of backgrounds that are more conversations with Curtis centric or maybe Fantas two or something centric. That's not all about that, but just kind of leans toward what brought us all here in the first place. So stay tuned. We are going to have some interesting backgrounds coming up in the next couple of weeks. How is everybody? We got a big group today. I think this is a game that uh, people are excited about and I'm, I'm super excited about it. It's called Disco Elysium. I heard nothing about it. Um, <clears throat> until just maybe, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. Um, and, and now we're doing it and I'll, well, I'll, when Daniel comes out, I'll, I'll get into how this game got to us, but, uh, but yeah, I'm excited about it. I have no idea. I have no idea what we're in for. No clue. I just heard the, the only thing I've heard is that it's got a cool narrator, which I really liked in Stanley parable and, I think that's it. I think that's all I've heard. Um, all right. Well, well, let's get to it in a minute. Anyways, I want to say hi to folks. Uh, who do we got? We got Annalenis is here. Michael Clamorous is here. Weird. What's up, Weird? Annalenis. I said that already. Zwex. Hello, Zwex. Girl fans back. Nelson. Show game. All right. Monk Monk. All right. Good to see you guys. Ozzy. All right. Thanks for everybody for being here. Um, let's very quickly and very genuinely say thank you to our Patreon and Coffee members, as we always do. Thank you, guys. Because of you, we are able to do what we do. Please join them if you can. Keep this thing going. We lose people. And we, you know, then we get a couple people, but we're starting to lose more people than we get. And so, as, as <clears throat> sorry as I am to say it, our, our monthly donations have uh, have dipped, um, which, which just makes it a little harder for Daniel and I to... Uh, to, to take time away from family and all that stuff. Anyways, you know, anyways, just join if you can, it would be great. And if you can't join on, uh, uh, on one of these channels, then uh, you can give a donation, help us out today just by going to coffee.com right there and give us a little something, help us get to our donation of $75, our goal of $75. And maybe if you give a little bit extra, you get on our top seven list like Jouex, Girlfriend, CJ, CompuArt, Ozzy Astra, Tommy, and Moffat Reborn are. Uh, thanks, you guys. And um, let's bring out Daniel. What up? What's up, dude? That was a fast intro. I went through, I, I didn't ramble too much. Yeah. We had a short countdown, a fast intro. <clears throat> we're, yeah. We're spitting So I up. liked your idea. We were in the middle of a conversation about that one. So, the one episode we did with Brad Greenquist, and we really should, we should edit that and um, and rewatch it. Re -re -watch no, it. yeah, edit it and put it out there as a as a you know a, a, a short that we could have. Um, I think that would be really fun for people to see because I don't think enough people saw that. But it is very surreal, you know, the us watching us watching, you know, just it's just a too many of that and. Uh, and it would be fun to come up with more 
things like that where we take extra old episodes and we watch ourselves and critique yeah, ourselves and, exactly. uh, you know that would be fun so we can uh, do that each year so for example we can watch the first our first live stream and then a year from now we can watch us watching the first live stream and this would be you know a yearly thing I've, and and so in, in five years or so we'll have five did you see the uh of- did you see the uh, Bo Burnham uh, inside mm-hmm. where he did the, uh, you know, the review of him reviewing of him? Re- that was one of the funniest sketches I think I've, I've ever seen. It was so, so well done. Total, yeah. I want to watch that again. I'm going to go do that right now. Okay. <laughs> we'll All right. So what, uh, what do we want to do before we do the thing we do? Well, first of all, we should both thank the people who oh, approached right. us about this yeah. game. So back, yeah. in Se- back in September, Faustian Man sent me an email, and he told me that he wants to send me a game, Disco Elysium, and he said that uh, the less I know about it, the better. Mm-hmm. And so he wanted to gift me this game. So the game we're playing today is was gifted by Faustian Man. So thank you, Faustian Man. And yeah, and uh, uh, Daniel, I don't. He may have told you may have told me that about this way back in the day, but mm-hmm. these titles have no meaning to me. So I didn't. I was like, okay, cool. Um, but I don't re- even remember you talking to me about it. And then just a couple weeks ago, I got an email from Alder Biz saying, uh, Dear Paul and Daniel, will you please do a look at a potential playthrough of Disco Elysium? I think it's perfect for Paul, especially because it's not overly complicated. (laughs) He knows me. And it genuinely has the best narrator ever in any game or media. So that, that is a, that got my interest peaked. Literally hundreds of funny moments too, to help you push through the gloomy parts of the game. So, I still don't know anything about the game except for those things. And so I, when I mentioned this email to Daniel, and I think Daniel saw it too, um, then he reminded me that we got the game as a gift. So then it became like, okay, we got to we gotta do this. And so that's why we're doing it. So thank you to Faustian Man and Alder Biz for the extra effort you guys put into uh, your recommendations. And that's a good segue before we start. We have a rec- game recommendations channel on our on our. Uh, discord and there's tons of recommendations on there but what we are finding is a lot of times people will just post a link to a game and say hey how about this one and so i think the best way to get a game through to daniel and i is really tell us why why do you love this game what is it that means something to you and why do you think that we would like it because not necessarily we're not all you know you're starting to get the sense what our taste is what my taste is. Uh, and, uh, and so if you can pitch it that way, I think that's a good way to get games in front of us. Does that make sense? Yep. Uh, people are complaining about the fact that uh, the stream is having issues on Twitch. Oh, no. The stream is having issues, guys. I think it's down on Twitch. Wait, uh, let, me, let me shut down Twitch. And then can you turn... start it again? Okay. Yeah, Twitch, unlike YouTube, doesn't require you know, a specific live stream link. You just stream on Twitch, then you stop streaming. So I restarted the stream on Twitch. Let me know if it works now. If not, then you saying that restream works was a lie, apparently. It's been working fine. So (laughs) everybody thinks fine on YouTube, getting all kinds of good to go. Chris Christelou's here. I don't think I said your name, Chris. Chris Todalu. There we go. How's it going, man? Hope you're doing good. Been a while. Uh, yeah. Okay. Getting so a lot of this it, and that from. Yeah, it seems like Twitch isn't working well, but YouTube is. So. Okay. Um. Well, join us on YouTube. I guess that'd be the way to go. Yeah. Uh, sorry about that. We don't want to start over. Yeah, we only no, have one person. I, I started, on... I started oh, over okay. on Twitch, but it doesn't okay. work. So it apparently <clears throat> is a restream issue. 
So let's blame Restream and start the game. How about that? Is there, is there a way I can do like a note to anybody on, on Twitch? And Yeah, sure. You can write in the chat. Um, so I have to go on to Twitch right now. Hold on. I'm on. I think I'm No, there. you can do it on Restream. Oh, oh good call. All right. So Let's you write more. in the chat on Restream. You can choose whether yeah. you'll write on both channels or just on gotcha. Twitch. Okay. Okay. Can I write in the chat? All right. Okay. Okay. Don't start without me. Huh? Let me finish the game. Somebody send a uh, link to the YouTube channel. Do I have it here? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Never mind. Sorry, just trying to get every make sure everybody has knows what's going on. I'm gonna quickly do this. There we go. Terrible link. You are one Twitch viewer. We got you. <laughs> well <laughs> We got you back. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Let's get here. Oh uh, uh Sierra Class says, have you tried turning off AWS and turning it on again? Whole of AWS, I'm sure <laughs> Amazon will understand. <laughs> Yeah, it's a it's an IP joke. Yeah, let's turn turn off AWS. We'll take <clears> down <throat> Twitter and basically everything. So, and Facebook. All right, let's do this thing. I'm ready. What do you mm -hmm. know about this? Anything? Nothing. I oh, got oh, it. In oh, it Sorry, Faustian man, you sent it as a gift in September, and I installed it yesterday. Oh boy, here we go. Okay. So. You'll watch the game on my video feed. You can hear it, right? Yep. Okay. Now, there's no way I can. you can give me controls, huh? Nope. Okay. okay. So we've got... Select archetype. Thinker. Extremely intelligent. Very bad with people. Knows interesting facts. Comes up with original ideas. So we have to be... We're going to choose to be one of these people? Yeah. Sensitive. Very psychological. A magnetic personality, but unstable. Might begin to lose his mind. What are these numbers? One, what is int site? So you get the, oh. you know, the score for each one of these traits. So you get physical instrument, instrument, electrochemistry, endurance. Oh boy. I think they're all going to be the, oh, do you want to create our own character? Let's create our own character. And let's give ourselves like six of six of everything. Okay. Yeah, let's be like. But we can't. We have to reduce something so that we'll be able to. Try to go add. as high as you can on all of them. Try to make them all fives. But you can't. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So you, okay. You have like 12 points, I presume. Okay. And so. Um, you can, have we call to our, can we come up with our own name? That's your problem? The up. name? We can call him well, whatever. For sure. If we're going to play this game, we need to know who we are. So come up with some. If we do get to choose our name, I want some suggestions on the chat. You want to choose um, one of these? Oh, I see. We can't. No, we can create our our, our own, but maybe yeah, we can choose one of the. Oh, the numbers. One of the existing ones. Do you want a thinker? Yeah. Do you want sensitive? Do you want physical? Or do you want to create something that's uh, not within own. any of these categories? Hmm. Take your time. Well, I, I think cr creating our own would be fun, but okay. I'm okay. Yeah. Let's create our own and just let me know. We have 12 points that we can. Okay. So let's do four intellect. Okay. Intellect is uh, the most important thing. Okay. Psyche sensitivity, how emotionally intelligent you are. Uh, let's do two of that. Physique, Weak, your musculature, bikey. how strong you are. Let's go three strong, and then whatever's left of motors. Your senses, how agile you are. What's that? Let's go up one of that. Four, two, three, three. Yeah. I don't know. Or your senses, how agile you are. Average. I don't know. What do you think? This feels all right. It's it's pretty down. Do we want to have like 
have one thing that we're really, really good at. Like go down yeah, with intellect. Uh... Oh, go down. Okay. All right, let's do that. Or should we be more agile than strong? Maybe we can be. Maybe being fast and maybe we switch those two. Make physique be terrible physique. What are we trying to achieve here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, five, one, three, three. Sure, let's do this. This sounds good. This. Let's just see who we are. Yeah. What are they going to mm -hmm. call us though? What, ha what happens Man. next? Uh, our character would you know, die in the first few seconds of the game. Okay. Oh, uh, we have to chew. Okay, I see. Okay. Logic. Rhetoric. Drama. Let's do drama. Okay. Okay, this is more complicated than I thought it was going to be. We can just go back and be a... Chooser. No, wait. The signature skills, it tells you encyclopedia, call upon your set skill. Uh, okay, we, we set the skill. All right. Oh, I think we you need to choose one of these and can you choose five of these? Nope. Okay. Click to mark selected skill as signature. This is the selected mark. And then, what does the plus do? Okay, so our signature is... Well, upon all your knowledge, produce fascinating trivia. That's our signature. All right, fine. Confirm. Uh, okay. That was difficult. All right, the Furies. We were able to solve the first puzzle, which was the UI. There is nothing. Only warm, primordial blackness. Your conscious ferments in it. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Ever. Never, ever. <laughs> never, okay. ever, ever? Oh, totally. No, do the number one. Hey, never, this is Monkey. Never, ever, ever, baby. <laughs> An inordinate amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex wives are contained within it. An inordinate amount of time passes. Uh, this is great. Give me some more. What was that about the X something? Let's do that. An awareness creeps up on you. A mass lies hidden in your dead angle. Soaking in some lurid acidic source. It's bloated and shameful. A ball of meat surrounding you. This is a terrible line of questioning. And it will only lead to more awareness. Of the meat thing. Okay, wait a minute. So that's not the ancient reptilian brain that's been talking to us. That's our limbic system. Is this our body talking to us? Maybe. An, aw an awareness creeps up on you. A mass lies hidden in your dead angle, soaking in some lurid acidic sauce. It's boasted shameful up all of me. So what is going on? Plunge back into the fathomless deep. No, I wanted to know about the X something. Yes, let's do that. X love. X tenderness. It is foolish of you to resurface to the loss. Not after all the damage you suffered to get here. Some of it irreversible. Stay. Sail with me through the abyss of Pelagic Zone. Alons, never let me go. No, I want to get off now. I like pain and burning light and wanting things from people who don't want to give them to me. You get to choose. Do you really? Yeah, don't be naive. Of course not. I want to sail the inky blackness until forever ends. I do. Let me off. No, we got to stay, I guess, right? All right. Nothing town to fuck all, Barra. Return trip to the silence please let's visit the ancient zero home look there's i am tired of being this type of animal and who gives a shit 
Ah, I'm confused. Let's do which one. Not you. Your days of giving a shit and being that type of animal are over. Don't stop. Keep singing. Sing me the song of death. Wait, no. I need to belittle myself instead. Do the first. The song of death is sweet and endless. But what is this? Somewhere in the sore, bloated man meet around you. A sensation. Okay. First of all, let's give props to the voice acting, which is sublime. Like yeah, fly that's so good. To the ointment, your conscience sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert, hurting, longing, dancing to disco music. In it, stop. I don't want to hear anything more about this sensation. Talk back about the. All right. Well, I, I'm. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. We're. I feel like we're in a loop. Does this get us the anywhere? Where do we? Echo rises from your mouth, and with it, an ungodly headache. Someone cut my head off. It's trying to murder the rest of me. Who am I? What sort of creature does this to their own mouth? Sure. A fiery streak penetrates your skull. Trying to force your eyes open. It's a sound. A clarion call from hell. Somehow, you know what it is. A Caprice can name a motor carriage. I just read Nelson's text. He says this game is really good, but it's also really big if you want to experience it as it deserves. Oh, look at this. Like between 50 to 70 hours, 20 right. minimum. Which means it will take us 150 to 200 hours. What's up, naked guy? Who are you? Is this us? Is this us? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so. man. We should have give, given ourselves more. Uh... Yeah, let's put some pants on. Should have given ourselves better musculature. Okay. We didn't. You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. It says whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. Oh, the look, look at this. We're doing a point and click. A cafeteria on the urban coast, frequented by dock workers. So you're clicking on stuff and it's just telling us what it is. Oh, this is great. Can we take a bath? Hey, look at that. There's no... See bottles see... in the bathtub, fine beer and sweet liquors. Okay. Water. The water's going. Don't take a bath with your pants on. Look, there I got go. a shirt. Nice. A mirror a shave. hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a first discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. Was this not the same Elo that founds empires and lays waste to cities? Virile, uncaring towards the little things? Probably not, no. I'm a little Hot confused by conceptualization and logic. What is it? And steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself. Just the vague impression of a man. So do you see the difference between, it's the same voice, but why uh, does it say logic and why does it say conceptualization? Maybe it's parts of us handling or experiencing whatever it is we clicked on. Hmm. So okay. the part of us that's in charge of the logic thinks this and the conceptualization no. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. Really? Nothing? Wipes the mirror. Yeah, wipe the mirror. As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror. Let's just get it over with. Wipe the mirror. <laughs> wow. Behold. Look at us. We got a little... You have no idea who this thing is. 
do you? I don't recognize him. Do you, Daniel? Nope. Dear Lord, help me. What is this? Whatever of course is, I do. It's at oh. least it's dead now. There's clearly rigor mortis on your face. Oh, wait. Is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? I'm not making it. The face is making it Please itself. Stop. I have no idea. It's yep, let's wait. Let's read both of these You're first. You're scaring yourself. Before we just choose. Okay. Okay. Try to stop. No, keep making There's... the face. Uh, no, keep making the face. You can't, can you? It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face, and now it won't come off. Oh, yeah. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? Super stardom. God, I don't know. It's indescribable. I think it's supposed to look suggestive. I'm afraid it's meant for the ladies. I'm insinuating that I'm vaguely sympathetic. I think I'm sort of pulling it off now in a sad, has-been kind of thing. There is some charms to it. It's an expression of pain. Uh, uh, how about four? There might have been ten years ago. Wait, we just got it's some numbers there. A spasm now. What does that mean? So, what does this mean? This is a white check. Encyclopedia that has six. That's the the trait that the skill that we chose. When we created our character, and it gives us what odds of something of something, but we don't know what that is, right? Yeah. Okay. Can you, you want to choose the first uh, one? Uh, oh, I see. You, or sure. The third one. That one. Like the rest of you. It comes from a bad place somewhere in the past. That's all you know for now. And roll the dice. And now roll we can choose dice. the other one. Okay. It's too late. Like an image on film. The expression belongs to your primary motor cortex. It would take a minor neurological miracle for you to cease producing it. Okay. I'm confused. Oh, we got another room to go in. What's that room? Wait, what was that that room or that to the to the right of the what's that? Hmm. Maybe we need the keys. We need our glasses. We need our gloves, our shoes. We need held R. What's that? Bullets? Are we going to be shooting people? Get some shoes on. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. Oh, okay, Terrible so pull mistake. Off. Turn the lights off immediately. You can practice. Wait, 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 the wait, 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 wait. What did you do? You put. Brain. I tried to turn the lights on. The lights but are off. Apparently, turn the lights back on. Put why? on the light bulb. Because we need to see. We have to turn it back on. Yeah, but he has a hangover. No, he wants. To, we need the fan to stop so he can mistake. get his. So Turn he can get his. Uh, immediately, you can practically feel the photons burning a hole. Oh, uh, okay, brain. gotcha. The lights are off. Pull the fan. The blades come squeaking to a halt. It should be easier to reach the tie now. Ooh. Oh. This fan has two chain pull switches. Grab the One tie. ends in a tiny. You swoop up and catch the tie. Snap. It's Where really did you? How did you find it? How did you do that? What you have in your I click the tie. Is a truly okay. hideous thick tie, with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. Well, on the fan. We can leave. We're good. Now. Okay. Let's see what else we've got. This real real tape player is still on. Rolling empty. 
Okay. And you turn it up, turn it on. Where are you going? Come back here. So when I'm clicking the the right mouse button, I can see all of the hotspots. Okay. What's this? We gotta give this dude some aspirin. I wanna get his hand off his face. Hey, I got the left shoe. All right. Right. All right, we got a shoe. Green, Green shoe, shoe, left, left foot. foot. Look at this guy. What's that? He's limping. He's got a headache. Boy, that place is a mess. What's that on the floor? The the, the door's broken. The window oh, stands broken night. in its frame. Cold wind blows in. Where's the? It doesn't look broken to me. We have lookout. Assess the damage. We have a ninety-two percent yeah, let's chance. Yeah, assess the damage. The shards face outward. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. Oh, okay, that window. All right. So did we're I break probably, it with my own hand? Yeah, a fine whip of blame. scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. What is this then? More likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. Wait, what am I doing? Assess the size of the impact. Uh, sh sure, yeah. whichever one. The second one. Yeah, okay, it that. is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. Okay, mm. so we have to find that the thing. The single green shoe you found fits the hole almost as well as your foot. It would have also been heavy enough if thrown with force. So that means that our right shoe is somewhere downstairs. Congratulations. You smashed the window with your own shoe. Now you only have one. If you're lucky, you could still find the other one on the balcony outside. The door to it should be outside your room. Maybe it wasn't me. I should go and get that. I don't need... Yeah, let's go get that shoe. The cool wind gushes in. Your toes curl up from the cold. Okay, how do we get out? Through the bathroom? No. Oh, this is outside, isn't it? Oh, yeah, go back in. Hello, officer. Oh, we're, we're wait, officer. I don't think we, I don't think we finished our room yet. Before the we talk to this lady. says says it's March. The year is fifty one. This is super cool. I'm liking this a lot. Yeah. Um, what else? Is, what's that green thing that you didn't look at yet? Looks like someone tore out the tape while the song was playing. Okay. Mm. Okay. Take Let's, yeah, take it. Take all. Okay. So I just realized um, that my problem with games that nowadays is not that they're dialogue heavy; it's the, that the they're dialogue heavy and boring. Cold wind blows. This one's in. really good. Um. Look out. Nothing else. What What about the ba bathroom? There was a door that we didn't look through. Hmm. Wait, we have a notebook. We have a notebook. Find your other shoe. It seems like your green snakeskin shoe is missing its partner. You should find it before you go venturing into the wild unknown. Two shoes are better than one. Untie them. Unite them again. Yeah, but how do we get out into the... I think you go through the, um, go through Wait, the bathroom. Well, There's another what, door. What do you want to check in the bathroom? This right thing? Right there. Yeah. It's It's a door? What is it? Wait, let's see how I use the inventory. Oh, yeah. Key to room one. Hmm. How do you pick it up? Oh, okay. And it was... I'm confused. There used to be a tape in this case, but it was destroyed in a fit of rage. Okay. So. All 
Okay, so we got to find our ship. But he said it was out on the balcony, so we can't leave here. So I think he said something about going. Can we go back to? No, no. He says don't go outside yet. Why not? Because he said you need to find your shoe, and the and the yeah, thing. Yeah, but the said, shoe is outside. Okay, but I, I, he had told us where it was. It was on the balcony, and you could take it. Like there was a door. Yeah. It's the broom closet. Wait, what? The broom Someone's closet in the door. in the bathroom. The door we were trying to open. That's the broom closet. Okay. All right. So I guess the window stands broken in its frame. The morning light hurts your eyes. It's hazy, but you see the ocean and some war-torn buildings. The morning light. It's not broken hurts anymore. Your eyes. Anyway, we have to leave the room. Okay, but why isn't it broken anymore? It's still broken. Nothing we'll changed. We'll talk to you later. Yeah, let's go first get our shoe, okay? I'm feeling naked without no. my shoe. Okay. So we're downstairs. Is that a door right there? Go out that door? Maybe the, the door with the guard. Exactly zero class. Zero class says this versus two instruct reminds me that lots of dialogue is fine as long as it's good. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I was saying earlier. That dialogue as heavy you games the door leading out are of fine the as long as they're the interesting. The speckled man in an orange bomber jacket turns to you. Excuse me. I think you may be the person I've been waiting for. What? Shake his hand? Don't shake his hand. He narrows right. his eyes and extends his hand agreeing. Uh, yeah, shake his hand, sure. Hello. I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Precinct 57. You must be from the His grip is firm. You realize he's waiting for your name. Uh, I don't really know my name. Was it medium? We can invent what? the name for ourselves. Oh, let's do it. Uh, what should we call him? Let's call him Curtis. Raphael Ambrosius Gusto. <laughs> All right. What's our name? Not your typical Curtis Craig. Sure, let's be Raphael. Now, okay. I don't know. It's very cool. Come but off one... like a douche if I call myself that. It's very, very cool. It may be just a bit too ostentatious. No, let's do that. No, it's not. Raphael Ambrosius <laughs> Gusto. So let's do it. An historical. This is an opportunity to start your life anew as a classier person. All right. Yes. I love it. Well. He doesn't even process what you just said. It just moves on. Hey, Big Kahuna's in the chat. Does he believe that's your real Hey, Big Kahuna. He casts it aside as an intradepartmental joke or a peculiarity he doesn't understand. It looks like we had a little skidding error on Sunday. Saturday too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? No, we have not. What he means is, he has been trying to meet up with you for two days, but you have been otherwise occupied. We've been drunk. You mean that guy? Nod toward the man behind the counter. I totally talked to him. No, I haven't. There must be some kind of misunderstanding. You're telling, you're thinking of someone else. You're taking me for someone else. Yeah. yeah let's let's lie and say yes. If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well, I understand the scene is out back, right? Yeah, this man sure. is doing you a professional courtesy. He knows you have a talk to the proprietor about whatever it was you were supposed to talk to him about. It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? Who? Oh, you? You're with the police? What interviews? I have. Yes, I haven't. Or should we just keep lying? Nah. He's gonna call, call our bluff in a sec. Let's say I haven't. Or we could do, we could be honest and say what interviews. At the 57th, we like to prepare an initial list of persons of interest. And then I bet you would have got the same answer. The surface, prepare the field, get to know the players. You he gestures with his fingers. 
Maybe it's not an interdistrict. I'll read the writing. stage directions. You don't do that. Maybe it's an... Yeah, go for it. Yes, of course. Okay. So now we're left with I have yes and I haven't. No, let's do I haven't. Okay. We'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? <laughs> wow. That was You're... great. We're going to learn all sorts of things about ourselves. I'm wondering if we can ask him about our shoe. Dead body. I don't like dead bodies. Look, man. You know. Yeah. No. Completely. Uh, I like look, man. You know. Yeah. Does that mean the body is no longer in the tree? <laughs> do, do it one more time. Can you or does it? Yeah. Yeah, I can, but you'll get the again. same answer problem. Does that Are you mean sure? The body is okay. no longer yeah. in the tree. Let's say, let's say five. Completely. Completely. Does that mean you took the body down <laughs> from the tree? Uh, no. No. So let's do the body is still in the tree <laughs> where it has been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. As soon as we're done talking, it's been there for seven days. What's what if day? I told you I'm not really a police officer? Don't say that yet. How can you be so sure I'm from the police? But I can't remember anything. What were we supposed to do? Let's get going then. Uh, how about four? Talk to the manager. Then we go out back and take the body down. What if I did? How can you be so sure I'm from the police? I think one of those. Uh, uh, let's let's do the first one. We all feel that way sometimes. <laughs> there is no such thing as a police officer, I'm afraid. What remains is that there is a dead body in the tree. Someone has to figure out who put it there. If we don't, no one else will. Okay. So we're, so then, we're stuck. Soon after, dead bodies would be dangling from all the trees. Mm -hmm. What? What? What is there? Wait, wait, wait. Is that us talking to ourselves? What I don't I'm, that, I get confused here. Logic yep. just showed up. Mm -hmm. Us talking to ourselves. And then soon after dead bodies. Okay. No one else. Okay. All right. But first, we have to take it down. What if I did it already? How can you be so sure from the police? Well, let's do that then. Might as well find no, out. I presume that you can choose the other ones until you choose the one that's actually a call for action, which is, in we this case, yeah, let's get going. Yeah, but we haven't done uh, how he knows we're a police officer. Uh, that I might was help. to meet a detective from Precinct 41 at the Whirling in Rags, who arrived here three days ago. I am told that that is how long you have been here. Besides, you match his description. He looks you over. What description? See, this is good. Said they were sending the most seasoned yeah, we're the most seasoned <laughs> detective. You certainly look no doubt. seasoned. That's right. I'm a man for all seasons, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what if I haven't done... Yeah, let's do that one. This is great. The first one? Yeah. Sure. Though, I would also suggest that you locate your blazer with your official insignia. He points to the white rectangle on his sleeve. But hmm. they're just white rectangles. They're not just white rectangles. They bear a halogen watermark with the letters RCA. Of course and they do. Resembling the street grid of Ravachol West. I could step into the headlights of my kinema and show you. But right now, I just need you to do your job. But shouldn't I have a badge or something? Check your you pockets. You don't have a badge? Yeah, it was not on me when I woke up. Pretend you found it. Uh, I have my badge. I'm a policeman. I, and I have my badge. That's funnier. Oh, let's... Uh, if you didn't have your badge, then that would be very mm. bad. You would need to report it on my shortwave. But since you do have it, we can go straight to the task at hand. <laughs> well, what if I told you I'm not really for some? How can you be sure? Uh, but no, I can't remember we anything. We can choose the third. Yeah, I can see you drank last night and the night before. And that's your <laughs> he says drunk. after a moment of silence. But I have seen officers go through worse. Much worse. He is very calm. If you um, need something partner. for your headache, there is a general store nearby. But as I said, the dead body should be our number one concern. It's been there for seven days. Come on. What were we supposed to... Let's go. Did we tell him we can't remember? Oh, yeah, he thinks we're yeah. drunk. Okay, what's that last one? Well, we might as well Let's exhaust go. all the things. We've exhausted did we, them. Did, did we did four already? 
Yeah, you can okay. notice that uh, these options are a bit darker than this one because we've we already... Okay, gotcha. Well, let's go. After already. you, officer. After me. I can barely find what? my shoe. Lieutenant I know. Is now in your party. <laughs> I'm totally wanting to find you a shoe. You talk to him whenever by interacting with him. Tutorial agent. Lieutenant is now in your party. You can talk to him. Oh, thank you, tutorial agent. I love it. All right, hey, I want to see what the you would have loved saying. to have a voice inside your head that's a tutorial agent. Oh, every day of my life, that would be awesome. Yeah. Balcony access is outside the room, says Emily. So you're right. We just need to feed. But I think it might be upstairs, though. The sign reads: so the balcony is upstairs. Mass so let's go back hall upstairs. reserved for union members. Wait, wait, what? Oh man, be polite. Was there BDSM cows in this, this game too? This royal pinball <laughs> machine is unplugged. Oh, uh, we'll plug it back in. We'll play. Uh, let's just set the window still broken. We just don't see the shards. Raphael Ambrosius Cousteau is on the case. Oh God, the smell. Imagine if a cop showed up totally hungover with one shoe on and was like, uh, we'll get to the dead body, man. Chill. <laughs> Each skill has its own voice. Okay, good to know. Logic the speaker is connected up. to the radio, the Strange. music. Yeah. I am. A big old karaoke mic just waiting for someone to sing into it. Let's do this. This is where the lyrics would be. A man in his late 20s with a thin is there an auto save in this game daniel notices you approaching yeah probably he drops the ledger he was holding well, we should just and double check don't you think lieutenant. mr Gart, right uh, after this conversation you run oh. this place i wasn't ready for another conversation i wanted to go get our shoe okay yes. can we deal with him later he runs this place i am kim kitsuragi from prison 57 this is an inter-district investigation. So joining me from Prison 41. He looks, he looks at you at realizing, realizing he still doesn't know your name. The Harbinger of Ruin. I'm Detective Raphael Ambrosius <laughs> Gusto. Absolutely. Right. Now, I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene. It also took you a while to call us and report the dead body. It was you who placed the call, yes? No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. Sylvie? She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Do you have her number? As a matter of five, fact, five, five. I do. He looks behind a pile of coasters, finds a slip of paper, and hands it to the lieutenant. wonder why they have certain lines that aren't uh, narrated because you can only hear the lines that he's actually saying this is a description but then of... you could hear like the you could hear the god guy go he looks behind a pile of coasters it could be like the person well when one of in your, your inner voices is talking to you then you can hear it but over here it's just a description of how, what he's doing no i get that i'm just it's a choice that they made i'm just curious yeah. why they made that choice you said you just got here from where are you a local what, of Martinez? No, I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I manage. But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need directions. Have you seen my shoe? Yes, I know where some things are, but as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. Did you happen to see a dead body in a tree? I didn't imply that. Detective. He probably yeah. means this is where you step in and ask your questions. <laughs> right then. Questions. I got this. Play the fool. Who, me? No, I'm good. We get, Let's do right then. We got to do right then. His face expresses profound doubt in your having this. Ask him about the body's location before asking if he killed him. People give up information in the more innocuous questions, which you can later use in the more sinister ones, not vice versa. Hmm. 
Okay, so let's ask him where exactly is the body. Behind this building, there's a courtyard. They hoisted him up on a tree there. Behind the building, there's a courtyard. That's where we get our. That's where our shoe is. No, the that's balcony. where shoes on the balcony. The body is. Oh right. Well, where's our that's shoe? Easy. See Once... that door there. First, you exit through that. Then, to your right, <clears> you should see a big hole in the fence. A really big one. You can get to the courtyard through there. No need for the keys. The hole is big enough for the Franco-Nigerian cavalry to fit through. Okay. okay, so we need to leave the hotel and take a right. This man, but we gotta get our shoes. Cavalry of the innocents, Shoot. Franco Negro, sweeping Franco. over the plains and nations of the enemies of mankind, fifth century Shoot. style. You how smart we are. And the concept of cool came in their way. Oh no, they, they this, we turned ourselves into a nerd. Guns, but first this isn't gonna all, help us. Franco Nigerian heavy cavalry was really. Really, why unnecessary that hole facts? In the fence must be enormous. <laughs> uh, where exactly is the body who killed him? Why did Sylvie go away? Are you the bartender? That's all. Did we do why did Sylvie go away yet? We can do that, all and go look at the uh, all right, let's go for our shoe. Let's go find let's our go. shoe. That's complete. Not wow, so fast. You owe me 130 real. What? What's real? Oh, excuse me. You owe me a hundred and thirty real. What does? Why? Real. Oh, we must have got drunk there last night. Or interisolary real is the global reserve currency. Whatever part of the world you're in right now, it's safe to assume he means you owe him some money. By real, do you mean some form of street cred? Now, let's do the other one. Wow, you're a genius. Yes, that's right. Money. You owe this establishment 130 real. He points to the red ledger on the counter. What do I owe this pl place for? But, but what exactly is money? You're under... <laughs> Let's do you're under arrest. I you can't arrest me. I haven't done anything. Okay, you're not under arrest. Put this man in his place. Authority. We have a 28% chance of this working. What is the, I don't know why I said this. It's a cop, something a cop would say. Uh, should we try it? I mean, why as well, right? Yeah. We're gamblers. From the bottom of your blue yes. soul, a term emerges. Refusal to aid an officer of the peace. You are impeding me from carrying out a murder investigation with your inane requests for money. Hit it. It's not inane. I just, you owe me money. <laughs> it is cruel of you. A man has been killed. File a request for compensation with Station 41. We need to work now. Nice. Okay, yeah. you'll only have to pay for the window and the drinks. That's 70. I'll get the rest from your stupid station. I have no money, memory of drinking them. I'm not paying for the drinks. I won't pay for the window. Cool. Goodbye and thank you for your cooperation. All right, let's see if we can get out of here. Don't thank not me. Gonna last. You still owe me 70. If you don't have it by tonight, I'm not letting you back up there. That's enough. Voice to our room. Good day. Okay. All right, let's, let's go upstairs. Let's save game. Has it been saving? <clears throat> yeah, because we have mm -hmm. the continue, and then you have quick save, and then you have save game. <laughs> <laughs> Zen solves his rights. What is this street cred and where can I buy some? And Shadow Rage wrote, I have no money and I must pay. <laughs> Which is... We'll come back to that game too. We were enjoying I have no mouth and I must scream, but decided to give okay, this a shot. Here's, wait, wait. Here's the hole in the no, fence. No, dude. Our shoe is right there. You're missing our shoe's right there on the balcony. Up there. You're walking right by it. How are where? you not seeing things? Right this there. One? Look. Yes. Okay, but we can get up here. We can from upstairs. I didn't want you to go outside. It, the game told you not to go outside without your shoe. So go back inside. And let's go inside. This is like okay. gaming 101. How you're not. Okay, following you know what? It. I'll follow your instructions 
And let's the, see where this gets us. It's not my instructions, us. it's the game's instructions. The game said, don't leave the place without your shoe. It told us. Okay. So come, I think either you can go, come down a little bit before you. Uh, okay, now what? I think you go back out the, somebody might know, you guys might know where it is, but go down, down towards me. Is there like a door here that you can go out? No. There's nothing. Ah, ha ha! Boom. <laughs> no, he says. Oh my gosh. That's it. We've got your shoes. Now we got a shoe. Now you can go do whatever can... you want. <laughs> can we actually like play I the have game a now? Victory here. You would have wandered around the entire game with two, with one shoe. I gotta watch you, Albu. You, you you don't pick up a lot of clues. I don't pick up a lot of shoes. <laughs> So there's this, uh, oh, what do we got here? Wait, don't, uh, don't talk to anybody yet. Okay. Let's here's the, here's the body. Oh, the dead dude. There he is. The corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. The face around them does not look human. It's swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish-like and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. Aww. You seem to be holding your breath. Look down, turn away. Uh, either one Look down. for me. A cargo okay. belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. The smell seeps in even through your clenched nostrils. Endurance? Is he clenching Ooh. them himself? You want to do endurance? Chances are pretty bad. Let's do that first one. Active decay. It's okay to throw up with his arm. No one is judging. Okay, hit the continue. We might as well take our chance then. He's about to blow. Cock's gonna blow uh, Kuno. Okay, try the injury. Try our. Give it a shot. Come on. The smell Fail. is repulsive. It pushes in from your mouth. More instant and more familiar than anything you'd expected. More fever than odor. It fills your mind. I think we just need to let it out. Within. You walk away. Walk it walk off. Away. I knew that was going to happen. Nice. <laughs> that would be funny if they did like a whole bunch. Too just they kept coming it's and it kept coming. To keep in. Your body curls and pushes it out, burst by burst, burst. by burst. Until a pool of vomit lies under your feet and your throat stings from the stomach acid. God, I'm sorry. Fucking corpse. Fucking corpse. Sure, let's, let's curse. Keep it. The lieutenant hands you a blue neck or checkered handkerchief. Thanks. I don't need your pity. Uh, I think we do. The hangover is clearly making these words for you. You could use some ammonia to clear your head. You think ammonia would help? Okay, where are we going to get ammonia from? I don't need that shit. Let's do, okay, where do you get ammonia from? I bet there is going to be the this... nearby, east of the hostel. They usually have a small apothecary. If they don't... Points to the greenhouse. Hey, Faustian Man is in the chat. Faustian Man, if you just joined, then uh, I was thanking you at the beginning of the stream for yeah. gifting me this game back in September. Yeah, thank you. That was very, very sweet of you. And uh, uh, Daniel read your, your note, and and I'm sorry, I didn't know about it. And, but thanks to you and Alder Biz, we are playing this game. Appreciate it. There's a greenhouse here. And a gardener with a wheelbarrow on the corner of the whirling in rags. If she works here, she might have something for the smell. Hold on a second. So Faustian Man said clever. the narrator, the voiceover narrator had no acting experience before this. Crazy. It was like he was born to do this. Which is the narrator? There's so many voices coming out. Is it the dark? Uh, is it the uh, James Earl Jones guy? Is it? 
Yeah, I guess the voice we hear most of the time. And you know what? I thought the voice we were going to hear the most of was going to be that first one that was kind of the dark, creepy uh, Australian accent or the English accent. Um, I thought that's the guy that was going to be our main person. But that's one of our inner voices, right? Yeah, There's so many voices. You know, usually people without acting experience give a more natural vibe. I mean, it can go either way. It can either be really bad or give more of a natural vibe as opposed to an actor which yeah. may give more of a theatrical performance. Acquiring a but you know what I'm talking about. There's so many different voices, right? Modifiers make checks easier and allow you to try them. Well, you will write a modifier to the white check. Modifiers make checks easier and allows you to retry them. Um, so th- we still have to. So we're we stuck to away throwing and up un- until we. That's locked. We messed up. All right. So let's get out of here. So it seems that this is locked. We can no longer choose this. And it says put skill points into endurance to open this white check. Oh, so we have to go back to our skill level and change who we are a little bit. We can do that throughout the game. Guess we need to collect skill points throughout the game. Oh, how do we do that? Picked up a bunch of stuff. Is there any in our... <laughs> Smells, Smells like, like spoiled sp- meat, curdled dairy, a human being decomposes. What about that kid? Should we go talk to him? Kuno's got this. The boy throwing rocks at the dead body can't be older than 12. If there ever was such a thing as an ugly kid, then this is it. He's almost (laughs) exquisite in his ugliness, like a gremlin. Oh yeah, not a goofy Kuno. Yells the other kid behind the fence. There we go. Hey kid, a word, please business. A moment of your time, please. I'm not getting into this right now. Uh, I'm, I'm inclined to maybe not get into this right now. What do you think? Okay. Let, let's. If the try. game is giving us... An, can we go up the tree? Wait. Let's see what we can explore without actually talking to people. We could also go back in the room and put on our, our laser sure. and yeah, I know. get ready for the day. You're not, I know really that you're dressing. all about the wardrobe and less about the actual murder. We thing. also have to find our badge. We have to find our badge. An inconspicuous pile of the roofing material eat tonight. Wait a minute. Because there's a secret door hidden behind the panels of eat tonight. That's why they're too... Mm -hmm. Okay, let's pull the panels. There it is. You see a shabby little door. Nice sound effect. Gained experience. Okay, we got something. We got mm-hmm. five gained experience. It's, now we can what go back this, and Dan? not throw ship? up. Let's investigate. Yeah, let's investigate. I, let's do it. We can play 50 hours of this game? This is crazy. I mean, so, someone said at the beginning of the stream that he completed the game in six hours. And someone else replied to him by saying that if he finished the game in six hours, then he didn't even experience 10% of the game. Wow. Cured Cured pig's head, it looks mummified. An empty tube of Magnesola Magnesium Supplement. Can we pick that up? Magnesium supplement you rub on your chest to leave a happy magnesium. That's like the am- ammonia, right? That's kind of like ammonia. Can you pick it up? Can we rub it on our chest? Wait, what's this? Why are we on a roof? You just don't explore rooms. You just start going to new places. You 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 are endlessly bored and moving on. No. Oh, you- this is the this is exactly how I explore rooms. I first of all want to see my reach Looks in like the surroundings and then I the explore everything 
And so and then you left. forget all the places you've been. Wait, to the flapping cloak. Someone left his cloak behind. Don't ignore it. Let's go look. Yes, it's probably yours. It bears the RCM insignia, and you right. have a habit of being you see, jealous with you. We found character. our own cloak. You could probably make the jump. You look like you've done some track and field in your day. Oh, we're gonna jump the ledge? <laughs> track and field in our day. Uh, wait a minute. Let's. I want to see what the options are. Hold on. You're just jumping ahead. Uh, look around. What exactly are we doing up here? Do you really think this cloak is mine? Should I go for it? Jump? Challenging? What? Your head's in the way. Challenge something. The cloak jump over the ledge. Yeah. God, not right now. Uh, let's ask what we're doing up here. What are we doing? We're awfully close to breaking into the industrial harbor. They are bound to have information for us. I thought that was our intention. Okay. I think it's good to know what we're doing. So Zero Cleft says, about a decade ago, I was a police officer with the Ontario Provincial Police. Your uniform, your uniform and how you presented yourself was extremely important. That's Which why, is why yeah, you, you why have we to gotta find get our it. shoes. And we got to get our blazer and we got to get back in there and shave and make sure we look presentable and get our badge. I agree. Zero cleft. Or it could be um, that we are just exploring. Looks around. Um, you want to try to make the jump? Do the first one. No, let's do the what the this cloak is mine. It's aggressive up here. The lieutenant looks at what the happened? enormous crane towering in the distance. Over How did we get away yard. from our. Oh, you're looking around. Yeah, let's make sure we look around and. Ask what we're doing. Then that's important. He turns back to the sad piece of fabric flapping in the wind. Can we pick up the fabric? Oh, it's over there. Uh, let's do number three. The cloak? I do think it's yours, yes. As to whether you should go for it. Okay, now we have to go for it. Let's give it a try. Well, it doesn't seem too dangerous. Two meter stops. Whenever you're ready to do it, I'll be right behind you. Are we like really agile? Of good is floating in the wind. Okay, let's. Seventeen percent. Yeah, but we're like super agile and we have great physicality. What's going on? Nah, we're smart. That's Try it. it. Oh, we're in trouble. Do we make it? Do we get lucky? No. Can we die? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Chicken. No, no, that's still too high. What were you thinking? You're not a gymnast. You're a boxer, and you've climbed way too high up here. Wait, who said that? What we just saw is, holy Save wow, that guy doesn't seem dangerous. The lieutenant must be crazy to suggest that. This is certain death. Vertigo almost pushes you over the edge. How come no one's saying that out loud? Challenging failure. No, Damage man. morale. Oh, Our morale no, again. Oh, no. Go get the bottle. There's a couple of bottles over there. Let's yeah, have a let's... drink. No. Uh oh, Wait, uh -oh the, what's happening? Come back. The walls are closing in. Despair creeps into you. Oh Get no! Fat on your weakness. Whatever noble intentions you once had as a police officer, it's eaten them all up now. You're still coming up with sentences. That's a step up from total annihilation, right? I'm seriously running out of shits to give. Let corpses hang on trees. I'm quitting. Fuck you. I've wasted my life protecting humans. They don't deserve it. Who are you? Are we not human? I'm done. No one even likes... What? Read three and four to me because I can't hear. I can't I'm done. No one even likes cops. And four is I wish I was fucking dead. Fuck you. Fuck you. So let's... Uh, we've already done a fuck you. Let's do number two. I don't dispute that you have been charged with protecting the people of a particularly challenging district. But poverty does not make one a loser. Poverty is just poverty. No, Nothing I you can say would make you feel any better now. Cop gives up the detective genre for social realism. Another police <laughs> officer resigned from the RCM following a nervous breakdown. He now lives under a bridge, drinking and occasionally throwing excrement at passers-by. 
shouting, wow. I never loved that woman. We're like monkeys when at a zoo. Comment, former colleagues objected to the theory that his psychological disintegration was precipitated by his wife leaving him. It's because the, the voice almost sounds match, electronic. Said Captain Ptolemy Price. Nah, once maybe that's on purpose. Superior officer. It's because he couldn't get a big gun from acquisitions. And anyway, police work really burns you out after a while. Satellite officer Jean Vitmer, the deranged former cop's partner, commented. Sergeant Matt Torson, another former colleague, did not propose any theories, merely saying, Whatever happened. Oh no, you gotta keep going. You gotta scroll birds. down. He got fucked, that's all. Okay. Ah! We done? Yeah. The game over? I think we, we should we have just... saved more often. Wait, we the game's over? We yeah. we just quit? And we have this save game. Ah. Oh, okay. I didn't realize you could do that. This doesn't Let, seem Let's speed run. Oh wow. Go get the shoe. Stupid shoe. Uh, Wait, when you leave the house, do you have both your shoes on, Paul? At all times? Yes. <laughs> I do. And let's get it. Let's get while we're here, we might as well look around for our rest of our our uh, clothes. And one morale health because your psyche is so low, so you die really easily. So it's got a better psyche, I guess. Maybe can we up upgrade our, our character? All right, now just check your room out. Put your jacket on. And people said it was a dis depressing game, but a much more depressing game is War of Mine. I've played it last year. It's really depressing. Yeah, this, I don't know. I mean, this is depressing, sure. But but War of Mine is much more depressing. I don't know. I'm not it's not a downer. I guess it's kind of a downer. I don't know. I'm enjoying it. It's not making me wait depressed uh, or anything. When did you play War of Mine? Who me? Yeah. No, I never did. I'm just talking about this game. It's uh, the oh, depressing part okay. is not. I'm talking about War hey. of Mine. War of Mine is depressing. Hey, look at that. We're looking good now. Do we can we find our uh should we look for our badge? Let's ave. Should we look for our badge since we're there? Our badge. Let's look for a badge. What's that what's that green thing right there that we haven't looked at yet? That's the door. Kim tries not to look at your broken down bathroom door. Well, he should look at it. There's no like pixel hunting for, for the badge. We can't open that thing. The mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. No, we've done all that. All right, can you skip? All right. All right. I guess our badge. Does everybody know where our badge is? Is it in here? This game is too cartoony. It's for kids. What? Really? <laughs> Dragoon says War of Mine is pretty intense. Yeah, the only reason I stopped playing is because we actually have Ooh, what's a that? war of ours. This is the weekend edition of the satirical newspaper Trump Le Monde. Can you look at it? <laughs> did we pick it up? It was destroyed in a fit of rage. I don't think it did. No. Can't pick it up. Can't can't nope. read it. It's a newspaper. Nope. For goodness sakes, what about those things? Can't pick those up. Nope. All right. Let's go down the stairs. Let's go throw up again. <laughs> we don't need no stinking badges. I think we do though. All right. Oh, what's that? Okay, let's check out the body. The corpse looks at you with yeah, the yeah. to be hold. A Look cargo down. belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below. Activity kit. He's about to blow. Cops gonna blow, Kuno. 
The smell is repulsive. It pushes in from your mouth. Let it out. More. Well, we already did that one. You should do let it out. I wonder if it would have been a different kind of throw up. Yeah, I was hoping for a randomized puke. Too late. It's impossible <laughs> to keep in. Your body curls and pushes it out. Yeah, burst yeah, yeah. Light burst. Until a pool of vomit lies under your feet and your throat stings from the stomach acid. Keep it. Uh, keep the it. is clearly making oh. it worse for you. You could use some ammonia to clear your head. There is Fritz nearby, east of the hostel. They usually have a small East apartment. of the hostel. Are we don't... at the is that where we're, are we staying at a hostel? Mm-hmm. East of the hostel, they usually have a small Okay. There's what a was that? house here and a gardener with a wheelbarrow on the corner of the whirling in rags. If she works here, she might have something for the smell. Okay, there's also a greenhouse and a gardener. All right. Acquiring what was that? What ammonia did we just do? will provide a modifier to the white check. Modifiers make checks easier and allow Let's you try to it. try them. Hmm. Okay. So we wanna want us to go get ammonia. Yeah, in a minute. Uh, hit, hit. See what we can do with the locked thing. Let go of your nose without throwing it out. Oh, it's hit. locked. Oh, sorry, it's already locked. Okay, so let's get out of here. <clears throat> do we want to go back in that? Yeah, good job. This should have an auto save. This is a newer game. Come on, don't leave it up to us. It's I think it very, has very a, retro. No, it has auto save if you just you know leave the game. But we died, but it, so we had to have a save yeah, game. No, still, it should be able to let you go back to where you were. Um, okay, where were, let's go in that room that we were in. Bastian Man says, if you make your physical too low, when you turn on the light at the very beginning, you die of a heart attack. <laughs> That's great. There are several footprints in the mud Ooh. left by work boots. Anywhere from six to twelve peers have walked here. Dino boots. Visual calculus. Get an exact count. Let's do it. Let's ask. Let's ask the questions first. It's better to ask everything first. Every worker's boots with reinforced toes and hobnails all over the yard. What kind Isn't of this something boots? an industrial worker would wear? Let's choose Lieutenant. Workers', workers boot tracks. Boot tracks. Point to them. No, it takes it out of his little notebook. Okay, now let's. We have a good chance here. Go for it. Maybe more than twelve. Yes. No. Eight pairs of boots have shuffled back and forth in the mud. Go over them one by one. Eh. One. Standard sure. work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Number forty-six. Two. Standard work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Number forty-four. Three. Hobnailed work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Number 46, 44, 43. Four. Standard work boot. Number 45 or 46. Wait, which is it? You don't know. It's a miracle you can tell the prints apart as it is. The cold must have preserved them. Keep going. Five. Another standard work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Number 44. Six. An aberration. Light as air, even pace, same make of boot, but number 41. It yeah, was a tell. could also have been an adolescent. But and these kids. Undeveloped. I'm pretty good You're at this, ain't bad. I? It's as if the whole world darkens. Everything else has a thin film of unimportance on it, and the tracks burn in the middle of it in a strange, beautiful way. Seven. The glowing outline of a standard work boot, number 46. But the imprints are twice as deep as the others. The weight exceeds 200 kilograms. Wow. Eight. And yet Kids another still standard rocks work at the boot, body. number 44. There's an aberration in the pattern of the sole, however. The right sole is smoother, more worn. All right, we're going to meet someone Coming. with a limp. Maybe that was us, because we're limping around. Dr. House. Hey. I was pretty off then. I counted 20. 
The same guys are going back and forth. Way, way up, way. Uh, I don't know, whichever one you want. I never got the hang of it. Hyperopia. Do you see anything out of the ordinary? Hmm, light step, number 41 shoe, heavy one, 200 kilogram print print, that's one, an aberration, one soul smoother than the other. How do you know there? Well, if it's smoother than the other, then he's dragging one of, one of his feet. Yeah. Uh, well, they're all interesting. Um, they all have let's, something. Let's point to everything. Yeah, let's do it. A woman or a kid? Could be a woman, could be a kid. I don't think there's any way to tell for sure. That's what we found out Understood. from... Anything else? 200? Uh, heavy. Could it be the combined weight of two people, one carrying the other who's tied up? Let's say a heavily built worker carrying Man, a nice work, Daniel. You got that too. to be dead man. Yeah. He might be right. 200 kilograms of living weight is unlikely. Hmm. One of them was carrying him over. Maybe he was a giant. It could have been an extremely obese person. Let's try a giant. Come on, we gotta get some humor in here. Maybe it wasn't. Oh gosh, but maybe it was. Just imagine it. A giant man, at least two and a half meters tall. It could have been, but if it wasn't... <laughs> he waits for you to sense. Yes. No. Oh. But that why? Marks something down. Don't look. Why? You're thinking, why did they have to carry him? Sure. Yes, they could have used the makeshift stretcher or just march him up to the gallows. Maybe the victim refused to walk to his own lynching. Maybe the victim wasn't conscious. Our reading of these prints could be wrong. Uh, sure, any of them. I think the victim was unconscious. Even easier to carry on a stretcher or between two men. Anyway, it's for future consideration. What else can you see? Right step number four. The aberration. aberration. Let's name it the old soul. Do you have any ideas, Lieutenant? Someone operating a workbench with a pedal? Like a joiner at the harbor. Or maybe a drummer? Hmm. A drummer? That's stupid. So one of the people we're looking for is a drummer? Sure. No, it's not. Forget I said it. We are not looking for a drummer. <laughs> the drummer did it. Perhaps it could be a driver. A driver would wear out the right shoe before the left. The accelerator is on the right. Man, nod thoughtfully. I was actually thinking the exact same thing. Interesting. If only I had some... I'd come up with that idea. Let's nod thoughtfully. We should keep our eyes open around the traffic jam. See whether anyone strikes out as a potential suspect. Seems prudent, no? Oh, sure, prudent. Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. not sure. Hmm. How old do you think these Those tracks are? are? Seven days would fit the time frame provided to us by the caller, who reported the hanging. Okay. Wait, was this crime seal? Uh, was this crime scene sealed off during these seven days? Because it doesn't seem like it. Okay, so. Why does he think that these footprints are, are seven days old? Because there's a dead body over here. I don't know. It is not impossible. I pulled last week's forecast for coastal Havashol. Seven days below freezing. The day before, the day of his hanging, was the last one day. Okay. Correct again. Sub-zero temperatures would preserve the tracks in a good state. The commotion here could have taken place a week ago. What do I mm -hmm. think? A mob of people brought something heavy to the tree. One of them was carrying the victim. They shuffled around, especially under the tree. Then, after hoisting him up, they stood in a semicircle facing his direction. At first glance, this appears to be a lynching. Yeah. Indeed, they all stood in Indeed. a row here and looked at the tree. Yes. Everything fits so well. Carried him over, hoisted him up, watched him hang. This is easy. I think we, we have a firm reason. understanding of what the happened here. The lieutenant's eyes narrow. He's thinking to himself. Either okay. Way. What else? Nothing. Awesome. So if I click F5, quick save. 
There we go. What do we need to deal with the kids or what's this? Yeah, what's that? Letter, letter R, R where's where the crown? It? On the ribbon below, a light above descending, right in the mouth hole. Oh, man. Can you grab it? Fuck her shit right. himself. Jeez. <laughs> oh, right, let's talk to a little brat. Kuno's got this. If there ever right. was such a thing as an ugly... Oh, yeah! Uh, Not a goofy, Kuno! A moment. Uh, police business. Right in the dick, Kuno! Get him right in the dick! It's loving in the dick. The boy is sweating profusely. His eyes are like two black holes and his jaw is twitching as if trying to break free from the empire of his body. Hold on, what does that mean? Stop throwing rocks at my crime scene. Stop using slurs at my crime scene. That's not how we do it. Um, let's do the first one. The kid is obviously high. Stop getting high at my crime scene. <laughs> slurs. That's not, stop getting high. Fuck that! Kuno, yeah! Right in the mouth hole! What are you going to do? Shit himself. Okay. Kuno? You should throw the rake at him, Kuno! The fuck? Does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno's not a gardener. Yeah, and what should we do? Are you kids siblings? Kid, you want to hang out? I'm not a narc. Look, I have questions for you. Uh, I don't know. The first one. Yeah, sure. We shouldn't do anything. I don't tempt such forces. What forces? You will see. What? Jeez. The language these kids are using. Pure, unfettered id. There will be no reasoning with those creatures. The I'm fuck not... are you talking about? There was another rock. He's calling us f Kuno. He says we're fucking each other. It... How about I have questions for you? I think we we'll have to deal with these guys later. The Kuno. Show me what you got. What you got there? What you got, huh? Show me what you got. The body, what do you know about it? Shitload pig. What's your question? Don't tell the pig shit, Kuno. Yeah, help me out here. What do you want to know? If I How were to that? want to waste my time, which I do not, I would ask them who he is, how he got there, and the usual. But well, he's telling us not to do it, but of course we're the interested usual now. Being, have you seen anything out of the ordinary? Or... Have you seen anything suspicious? Right, let's try that. Just a couple of pigs sniffing around in the dirt. That seems pretty fucking suspicious to Kuno. Jeez. Yeah, you tell the faggoty Kuno. Looks like you're a faggoty now. Whatever that means. The suspicious question doesn't really work in antagonistic situations. Now we gotta be his friend. Uh, have you, do you know how, have you seen anyone suspicious? I think we, I have a feeling we're, I think this is going to be a, Probably maybe we'll get out of here. Kuno was busy down the road when that shit went down. You heard Kuno. Kuno wasn't even in Martinez. Kuno wasn't in Revachol. Kuno wasn't regional. Okay, no, where did you go then? I don't know. Some fucking. He looks around trying to come up with something. Mesk or, or, I don't know, some other place. Night City. Kuno is in fucking Night City. There is no Night City anywhere. That sounds like the name of a city in some pulp science fiction novel. That's a fictional city name. Night City doesn't exist. Why you gotta be uh. riding Kuno's ass? You haven't been where Kuno's been. You haven't been in Kuno's head. You wanna know where Kuno was? You wanna know what Kuno's been fucking up to I don't tell him that Kuno it's lame it's not fucking lame Kuno's building Kuno City Night City Rage City the city of rage that's it and it's not lame 
We should get a gun. <laughs> That's the name of Kuno City, bitch. Get the fuck off Kuno's back. This shit ain't about that. It's impossible to deduce what it is about, at least for the moment. If it's important, it'll come up later. Focus on the case. Kuno's fucking. Kuno uses the fucking for target practice. He's trying to hide the fact that he doesn't know. Sure. Kuno knows what you meant. We're in this deep. Kuno's not a snitch. That's all. Trying to make Kuno snitch. sing it to the popo popo. Oh, man. More. Well, uh, testing okay. Kuno's patience, yeah. Lost. Yeah, wait, instead of censoring these words, they could have just not written them in the script. I want to discuss the body with you again about the crime scene you kids often play in this show. So we're going to get somewhere if we stick with this guy, but I guess uh, the game is also telling us that we can come back to them later. I think we go back to these guys later. Schwax. ZJ Wax tip ten dollars. Kuno reverse CJ. card. <laughs> Kuno reverse card. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good ten dollar pun there. Thanks, man. You got us going today. That's been uh, for. I think it's our first donation for the day. Thank you. Okay, what's this? There are bottles inside. You could pick them up if you had a bag. Let's go get a bag. Oh, there's a bag right there. What bag? Come go down a little bit. I, I may have been, like right there. Isn't that one right there? Right. Oh, no, that's like a post office or a mailbox or a box let, or let, something. Let's see what these things are. This book has a rose, a pistol, and a half naked dame on its cover we get to are we picking these things up on the cover stands a very muscular man surrounded by flames are these now in our uh inventory no. we have the so, lieutenant's handkerchief the, the empty, empty cassette, cassette case. case when did we get the empty cassette case oh at the room okay. it, it was you know it was on the floor and so why are they showing us those books uh, if we can't pick them up or look at the books or... Well, you know, just like items in an adventure game that you can look at, but not... But we can't even look at them. It just tells us that this is what we see. There's no, like... No, it tells you what's on the cover. Let's see. This is a book about pate. I'm going to pate all night. This book, you don't really understand what it's about, nor does it seem important. Why are you telling us these things? Red herrings. A book about by something Darrow culture. It promotes freedom and... A book about the future. The government reads your mind using radio technology. There's a couple so of I, things near the light. It's interesting. I, I, Agent Cooper says, I googled it, and if you play a homosexual or an extreme homophobe, the word is no longer blurred out. Wow. That's some interesting game logic. I don't quite get it. There, there's some stuff up on the lights there. Roundabout North. Around about south. Apartments. Oh, we have places to go. Do we have a car mm -hmm. or anything? Oh. Tybron writes, usually censoring stuff in a game like this is just to avoid breaking regional and national laws in various countries. Hmm. 
Yeah, I figured that the developer is European, given that, first of all, they mentioned kilograms. And second, I think that if this game was in the US, then just like I said, just like I wondered why they even wrote these words in the script, if this was a US-based game, it wouldn't have been the script from the get-go. But I presume that they tried to find the publisher and then they were asked to censor these words and that's what happened. Okay, so I was just noticing that what you're doing, and this makes sense, I'd probably do the same thing, is you're starting to just skip all those green little things because mostly they're just telling us yeah, but some little bit of information, yeah, but it doesn't seem Don't you want to explore the belly of the belly this boat? Of this boat. But, so but I guess my question is, is that if the pattern is those green, those little green circles are really only giving us um, Oh, there's there's a person up there? will flow red once more. A great torrent rushing down Rue de Esperance. You wait and see. The girl stares at the sailboat the by the will pier. Not flow red with anything. Who are you? I'm Cindy the fucking skull. What else do you want to know? Date of birth, blood type, the last time I was tested for hep C. You just want to know your name, little lady. No need to go defensive. Don't use that tone with me. I'm the law. Let's start with your blood type and go from there. Hep, yeah, where were you last night? Just answer no. some questions. When were you last tested? Uh, your head's in the way. I can't see what half the stuff. So. Oh. Um, there you go. <laughs> uh, uh, don't use that tone with me. I'm the law. Let's try that. Off, this is just Art like is Judge Dredd. Art is above the law. Despite the sash, she puts the brush aside. All right, she's ready to talk. Your brush, to an artist. The red splatter is urban expressionism. You keep looking off to the side. What are you looking at? What are you doing under the wall? Let's do number one. The lieutenant furrows his brow at another one of your eccentricisms. Yeah, the right says metric this. versus imperial. Discuss. Hatred. She needs disgust. To... It's difficult to tell which of the two is more present in her girlish features. The woman on the boat does not notice her steering. That's on her. Someone's got to keep an eye on her. Ozon is an archipelago. Two days travel away from Rivershaw. Its moneyed residents used to posh restaurants and upscale boutiques rarely have reason to visit Martinez. Who is she? Probably the Wild Pines rep. We should talk to her. She's a professional negotiator, though. I have the feeling she will be very cooperative while telling us nothing. You should take the lead. Ask her unexpected questions, you know? Do your thing. Don't be afraid to get a bit wacky. Throwing her off is our best bet. All right, I can do wacky. Let's do it. Good idea, piggies. Run along now. Fuck her shit up good. Impound that boat while you're at it. I'd like to watch her swim back to us on. Uh, you keep looking. Oh, we did that. What are you doing to the wall? Can't you tell? I'm painting a beautiful mural, an aereo graffitio visible from low orbit. I haven't really started it yet. I'm waiting for the right words. Have you I have ever an opinion tried on your this. hand at Dude. graffitio? No, sorry. When faced with a blank wall, most people write unimaginative stuff, like pigs go home and Mono is here. We rarely see pigs round here, though. Just union cads. And my name's not Mona, so... How about the I have an opinion? Yeah? 
I love public art. Don't mind us. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm going to have to stop you. This is who it is. Actually, I don't have an opinion. What? How come it's snowing now? Uh, I love public art. I'm trying to... Flip. He told us to get wacky. There's nothing wacky here. Uh, let's do the first one. Thanks. I'm sure the inspiration will come to me now that I have an official RCM stamp of approval. Uh, chilly out. Okay, hit that continue button. Opposite. You keep looking out to the side. What are you doing to the wall? Do you know anything about the recent murder? I have three sure, or four. Let's I uh, ain't let's no snitch, pigstein. Go she forth really and knows. forage in someone else's shit. No shortage of squealers in these parts. Actually, yeah, right. there is a shortage of people who talk to us in a normal, calm, informative manner. We weren't put you on this him, earth Kim. to make your life pleasant, fucko. Catch you later, Cindy. Cindy. Huh, Watch we couldn't really back, do the thing that... Alert. You've got eyes on you. All right, we're being watched. Fair enough. I guess we ought to go... Quick save. So again, back to my question. Are you the kind of person who wants to see every single little green thing that's lit up just to catch them all? Or are you going to go in that boat and get out of here? Because you know that's the next thing we need to do. You know, on one hand, you, you told me earlier today that I don't explore the rooms enough. And now you're telling me I'm exploring them too much. No, yeah, I saw that you were walking by a lot of them. So I, I still think you are not the person who wants to see every little detail. You like to move forward. You yeah, but see his... you, you know what? If this would have been uh, a standard point-and-click adventure game, I wouldn't have clicked on all of these things. But the fact that the hotspots are marked on screen makes me want to click them. Exactly. Because it's just like a notification on your phone mm -hmm. that you have it to is, click exactly. on the yeah. app to remove yeah. the... Yeah, Same exactly. Thing. Okay, but... let's talk to... The woman on yeah. the boat. A striking woman leans against the cabin top of her sailing boat, smiling as you approach. Her green raincoat glistens with droplets. A silk scarf is tied around her throat. Good morning, officers. I'm Joyce. Hi, Joyce. Joyce El Messier. I represent the board of Wild Pines. The owners of the harbor. You gentlemen must be from the RCM. Uh, he doesn't know what the RCM is. That's when I ask her about that, L, what does the L stand for? Might as well do them all. We have to. Satan, my maiden name. Her bony uh, hand dangles from you, the sleeve the of Revishol her oversized Citizens raincoat. Militia. The police. Revishol Citizens Militia. Revishol. What gave us away? Nothing, honestly. I've said it to every drunk in town, and you're the first one who's responded. <laughs> nice work, Joyce. Relax. She meant it in jest. I could tell. I knew. Shake her hand. I'm glad to see you here. Her grip, her grip is, is tight and cold. cold. I was dispatched to handle a strike, not a lynching. Anything I can do to assist the RCM in this matter, I will. Gladly. That is good to hear, mm -hmm. madame. My colleague will take the lead on this interview. I should let you know. What are you going to do, Kim? You just stay following me around. Medical episode. Very unusual. Nah, Kim, Kim is the voice of reason. You of his ultimate competency. Oh, of his ultimate competency. There's a trace of irony in his voice. Mischief I agree. Even. This is a tactic. Oh, really? What's that Thank picture of? What's that picture of rhetoric? Is it rhetoric? How interesting. I wish you a swift recovery. Rhetoric. In the meanwhile, you have my full cooperation and the full cooperation of the Wild Pines group. Wild Pines group. You're on a boat. Yeah, let's tell her that. That's good. Why, yes, I am. She looks at the deck under her feet. Green and white sails flutter overhead. Not a lot of people on boats, are there? Of course there are. We're on an archipelago. Sure, How else are you supposed to get around? Wait, we're on an archipelago? Yes, we are. 
We are on Le Caillou. No, let's get there. Technically, the neighboring Ozon and Fas Alamea island groups are archipelagos, while La Caillou, by contrast, is a single fertile landmass, the fourth largest island in the world. It is not an archipelago. Okay. Okay, this is one big island. Still, I haven't seen anyone else sail a boat around here. I don't know. Read one of them, and I'll click it once you're done reading it, and then it will, it would work. Wait, well. I thought Lakayu was one big island. Okay. Still, I, if you want to oh. get technical, the point is we're all on islands here, and sail is still the most expedient way to get from one island to another, especially when you're in a hurry to resolve a strike. Still, I haven't seen anyone else sail a boat around here. I haven't seen anyone else drive a souped-up Coupri Kenema motor carriage either. Actually, that motor carriage has been specially issued to serve as a patrol and pursuit vehicle. It's for crossing long distances in the Greater Ravachol Industrial Harbor. It's not a toy. Neither not is a this. Toy. A toy, I mean. It's a machine for crossing long distances in the Bay of Ravachol between the Why city and the Why are we talking about what islands. boats do? I think we kind of get that. You need to make this lady admit she's only riding around on this boat because she's rich. <laughs> yes, I do. No, Before um, why? Do, it would be no. pertinent to ask other questions. Gather more info on this boat of hers. Okay. okay, let's talk about the economics of this boat you're on. Going for the kill. Does she have a name? Does she have a name? Let's the just boat? get no it is called cordelati 19 because that's the type of sloop it is okay, what kind of boat is it it's a pleasure craft a 19 pacer it also happens to be rated for category one racing though these days i mainly use it for business people okay, kind of, oh, we did that already right uh how do you like now let's ask one more time what kind of boat is it? No, but you'll get the same answer. It's a pleasure sure? craft. Okay, a 19 right. pacer. How do you like it? Happened, my sloop, I like it a lot. It's the eel's hips, baby. Eels it's the hips, eel's baby. hips, just like the bee's knees. I mean, Wait a minute, eels, eels don't have it. hips. It has so little to do. Bees with don't have knees. Enjoying this part of the interview, it has do, so little to do with the murder we're investigating. Oh. Then let's talk about the economics of this boat you're on. Going for oh the kill. My. The E word. You mean to say that uh. it's a symbol of conspicuous consumption? That I'm a member of the ruling class? Exactly. Detective, may I remind you that Mrs. Messier is a professional negotiator? It doesn't look like he thinks she'll beat her in single combat. Okay. Then what does that Fair say? Enough. Does it say docking reserved for residents of Rue de saint Gislaine, 33A? Uh, I don't know, does it? 33A, this old proletarian haunt here. As I said, the plenty ruin, of people drive overboard, boats overhead. of all social strata. Uh, fire back quick. Fire. Fire anyway, change the subject. No, oh, fine. Let's try it. Fine, anyway. Do it. Wait, can I save here? No. Um. Oops. Oh. She takes now a save. sip. Okay. She takes a sip. Something is about to happen. Point to your head. In here. What? <laughs> All right, try that. Of course. Nothing happens for quite a while. It will come from my head. The arguments. Wave your hand next to your head. It will help. Sure. Which one of them? Uh, the second one. It doesn't. <laughs> Keep waving your hand slowly. Do that. My, it's as if there's a tiny spinner on the side of his head and he's reeling thoughts out. <laughs> Except he isn't. <laughs> A thought is going to come out of my head and into my mouth, and I will say it. This isn't going to happen. Uh, try Try that one, yeah. The first one? 
Yeah, and then I think we're, we're probably course. not going to keep doing it. This is going to, yeah, let's do, this isn't going to happen. No worries. We can just go back to discussing my fast, large, interminably middle-class boat. Do you have a license for this boat? Officer, I assure you I'm a highly qualified pleasure craft operator. No, that still doesn't tell me if you have a license. The crowns of her teeth are porcelain, white as the boat's hull as she smiles. Hey, there you go, perception. Qualified pleasure craft operator. So charming. Where's the damn license? Exactly. Can I see your license? I just renewed its safety inspection last month, officers. It is completely seaworthy. In fact, it's taken part in not one, but two insulindic regattas. Even finished once. Still, need to see a license, ma'am. Actually, you don't. <laughs> I'm pretty oh, sure him. I do. I police. It is a little known fact among those who police that the Wayfarer Act specifically denies the RCM the authority to demand <laughs> anyone's operator license. Oh, for goodness sakes. We spent a lot of time just trying to get her license yeah, just to find out. You're unhelpful. The Wayfarer Who is Act is one of the few pieces Kim. of legislation oh, governing human interaction in the Revishol Zone of Control. Human interaction. So we're, are we meeting a lot of and replicants acts. and stuff? Was that kid a replicant? The what now? Yawn. You can choose. The one time this busted up cabbage has something useful for your job. You just want to stare at some boat. Fine. Knock yourself out. Wait, wait, what? How little? What? Wait, that person, exactly how little known is this fact? More like the Anarchy Act, in my opinion. So we can't pull over random civilians and demand their papers? That's weak. Makes sense, I guess. I mean, look at me. Okay, forget the stupid way I asked that question. Uh, you're, you're on number five. Is that the one you want to try? Yeah. Okay. About the boat. A wisp of steam rises from her thermal cup. Okay, go. Good. She takes a sip from her thermal cup. Wild pines. What can you tell me about this lynching? Quite a sure. few things, I'm afraid. She pulls silent for a moment, contemplating something. The information I'm to share with you includes sense. Secret task secrets. complete. For the sake of well my done. Employer, we I have to task. ask your names and badge numbers. Of we don't know our name. We should have introduced <laughs> ourselves. I We're going to say who we are. From Precinct 57. We don't have our badge number either. Or we can't talk to her anymore. He's not going to let and us on this boat. this is my colleague from Precinct 41. Yes, of course. Uh, my badge that I have on me. Let's do that one. Now, come on, let's see how he gets out of this. He looks at you expectantly. Then it dawns I on I don't him. seem to have my badge, actually. How curious. Why is Why that, Detective? Myself? Well, you show me your license, then I'll show you my badge. I see. So, are you saying you lost your badge during the course of this episode? Wait, wait, wait. Going too fast here. Uh, it's possible, after a night of heavy drinking, I lost all memory of my life and the world. I could have eaten it, for all I know. I don't remember anything. This world, the city, nothing. Um, yes. Uh, uh, any of those work for me? I think we'll get the same... Oh dear. She sighs with compassion. I Sad suppose this them. does explain some of the more curious turns in our conversation. Yeah, exactly. She must have been suspecting something for a while now. Yeah, we were very smooth, were we? As I said, ma'am, his technique may be very unconventional, but he is an officer of the RCM. Yeah, what was that? Of course, I sympathize. But I'm no task. I simply can't share anything more until I've seen that badge. I knew we had to find the badge. Daniel. She's a professional negotiator. She should be open to some sort of mutually beneficial arrangement. And I'll find, let's try this suggestion. Let's see. We might nah, get... we're going to lose. Yeah. Yeah, well, 30%. Of course. But before we do, officers... Let me be perfectly clear. Oh, we can die, right? We die when we screw things up too much, yeah. The situation of course you can. is extremely volatile. The sooner we can speak about this lynching business, the better for all of us. All right, let's talk some more about the boat to... now. What can you tell me about the strike? Do we want to move on and go find our badge? 
Yeah, but someone I... said in the chat that we don't need to look for our badge. We'll find it eventually. Oh. Okay. Okay. That's a good idea. Well, then we. Uh, she's probably not going to tell us about the strike or. Of course, okay. detective. Take oh, care. ask her for some money. Oh. Wait, let's. It says she, you seem rich. Can I have some of your money? She might say she might give us some cash or something. You're back. Seriously? Good. Yeah. Is what you want to say? Well, isn't that easy? <laughs> Is it? What? Look at Why that not? Lady. Take a the gander. Squint your eyes, bub. What nice fabrics. What lustrous hair. Fabrics is funnier. Why, yes. Tucked away under that sturdy green raincoat, almost rustic in its simplicity. A silk shirt and matching scarf around her gentle throat. This is getting creepy. While dull orange pearls hang from her earlobes, red from the cold, her light green eyes scan you. Full of knowledge. He sounds and very worry. robotic. Well, I think this is he is a robot. I think we're living in a world of non humans. I think he stops every now and then when there's a big word because otherwise he speaks like that. Hmm. These are the kind eyes of the rich man that seem to say everything is possible within reason. Now look at yeah, you, so. you misery clad Inland senior, Empire. barely able to tie your own laces. Your armpits are lakes, a scythe of boons precedes you. Your hair sticks to your forehead and your underwear feels uncomfortable. Who's Inland Empire? You're poor, poor as balls. You Who's, why is Joyce this not saying this money. and he's saying this? You're too. You wanted us to ask her for money and now these are all of his inner thoughts about oh, us so we're asking. probably killing ourselves now right we're sort of yeah, putting ourselves we still time. haven't asked her for anything we're just fighting with ourselves uh, about oh i didn't mean to do that i didn't know that that's what you do all right let's it's almost two o'clock this game has gone by so fast wow we got, we got 58 more hours to go i know uh what is this feeling i've never felt it before well, we got to go through it right I'm a goddamn working man. I'm not ashamed to shake this leech for some dough, as I should be far enough. Yes, I should make my own money. What's the sixth one? Should we? Yeah, I should make my own goddamn money by now. Let's choose this one. No, yeah, let's do that. Maybe you could ask her for some stock tips. Ah, come on. That's a maybe. Or a job. But you're sure as hell too ashamed to ask for cash, buddy. For the record, I didn't want to ask her for money. This is just like there's a podcaster named Bobby Althoff, and she as I was saying, she if interviews celebrities and asks them for money. Please don't hesitate That's it. to ask. That's her gimmick. What? What did she do? She interviews celebs and asks them for money. So Seriously? Example, yeah, she interviewed. She gets like you know. She got Drake for an interview, and she got Mark Cuban, and she she talked to Mark Cuban, and she asked him if he can give her like ten thousand dollars to bring the interview. And and what does he say? Does anybody say yes? No, you know that's kind of her the type of dry humor she's using during her interviews, but most of her interviews. Uh, revolve around her asking for money from the guests she brings on. Does anybody? Does anybody give her anything? There has to be some people that say yes. No. <laughs> Everybody says no. Well, that's funny. I'd like to. I think I should check it out. All right. Uh, let's get out of here. And then let's get out of here. Okay. Save game. Boop. Let's see if we, so our our save game is Martinez day one. Okay. Let's get out of here. Dang. Let's make like a tree and get out of here. This was fun. I'm mm -hmm. liking it. 
it's very uh i could see just getting lost in the world and there's so i can see why it's got so many hours and um i like the i'm still wrapping my head around the other different voices that are in his head talking to us and and then realizing that you can die if you exhaust one of your strengths too much that the game ends right away so how do you there's got to be a way where you can regularly check your mental and physical health and stuff and go oh boy we're we're really down low here we need to up it right well we've got our stats but the question the, the main problem is whenever we we have an option in which we have you know percentage of us being able to perform that action or or solve that problem and we keep on taking a chance even though the the chances are slim i think we should stop taking a chance unless the i the think you're probably right. really high yeah and i think that's more like uh and we're if we're really desperate and that's our only chance but yeah i think we should not do that um yeah i think emily we are definitely going to play some more of this if, if it's 50 hours it sounds like you can get through a version of this as the one guy did in six and of course you're not going to see everything but um but yeah we'll definitely come back to this i'm i'm in i'm loving it and uh really appreciate the the gift from faustian man and uh and the recommendation from alder alder biz so thanks you guys and tomorrow stay tuned just check discord i might jump on for a little while and play some papers please uh it just all depends on my work schedule which i don't really know yet so i will let you know one way or the other on discord if that's going to happen um then i'm gone friday and all next week so uh, daniel will have some things to share and and such and maybe we'll cut if you can it would be fun to cut that um that scene from the Brad Greenquist interview and just post that as a as a as a one off. I think that would be funny for people to see. Okay. And when I come back, you're gonna have some new backgrounds for us too, aren't you? True, true. I'm gonna have I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna have a week off because I'm I'm gonna stream next week. Still haven't figured out what, but I'll try to to arrange a few new backgrounds for you to choose from. Nice. And uh, as Joseph just said, uh, please like and subscribe for those of you who joined us today. We still have a bunch of people watching. So if you haven't done that, uh, it sure helps us with our numbers. And if you're unable to contribute uh, financially, then just doing liking and subscribing is a, is a help as well. So thanks, guys. Anything? Uh, Daniel, have a good one. I'll see you in a little while. See you in two weeks. All right. See you in two weeks. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Where was the disco? <laughs>